Here with Auburn women's basketball coach Terry Williams Flanoy. And coach, if we will just talk about the game at George Washington, get the big lead, GW comes back on you, but your team's able to get back in it and pull away for the double digit win. Yeah, I, th I thought we did a really good job. I thought we started the game with a lot of energy. We were forcing them into turnovers. I think we got a little complacent and kind of stepped back from our pressure and kind of let them back into the game. I mean, but they played well, though. I mean, they hit some big threes and, you know, they did the things that they needed to do to make the run to get back into the game. Talk about the individual play of Hasina Muhammad and Najet Wardad. You know, Hasina had her first career double double, and then Hasina was kind of flirting with a triple double, as was Hasina. You know, I think Hasina, um, you know, she she played well. I mean, I think it was a few times where she could, probably could attack the basket just a little bit more, um, you know, but she was getting some wide open steals. I thought she did a good job of protecting the middle and getting some easy steals, which were easy offensive possessions. And that's what we try to get off of the live ball turnovers. We want to, you know, be able to score. And Jet does a really good job of finding people, you know, in transition. But I thought she did a really good job. I mean, she had nine rebounds. Um, you know, and that's that's <laughs> great for your point guard. But that means that she's hustling. She's getting a 50-50 play. She's running it down. And talk a little bit about Temple now. Another A-10 team, a physical team with a big inside presence. Their center's averaging a double-double on the season. Yeah, <laughs> 25 is going to be a little tough for us to guard. I mean, she's just, she's just so athletic. She's long. She's lanky. Um, she's not your typical type, you know, post player. She can put it on the floor. She can shoot it. Um, you know, she gets to the glass. So it's going to be a really tough, tough matchup for us. Um, you know, got really good guards that look for her and that penetrate and, you know, can find her. Um, got 24 that can shoot the three, you know, so that they got a couple of areas, um, you know, that, that we're going to have to sit down and we're going to have to defend. And it's not just the second A-10 team you're facing, but it's also the second former Big East assistant coach that you're facing. <laughs> Uh, do you remember much about Tanya Cardoza? Do you know much about her? Oh, yeah, I remember Tanya when she was at Connecticut. Um, you know, but we actually scrimmaged them also when I was at Georgetown. Um, so we know a little bit about the team. And, you know, Tanya's doing a really good job, you know, with them. And, you know, it, it's always hard, you know, coming in as an assistant and trying to take over as a head coach. Um, you know, so she's doing a really good job. I think she's got them playing really well this year. And then lastly, this is the first of five straight home games that lead into the SEC portion of the schedule. How nice is it to finish out the non-conference slate at home and then get to open at home with SEC's five straight games? <laughs> if I didn't have to go recruiting, I can actually enjoy my new house with just home games. <laughs> you know, but it's always good to play at home. Like I said, it's just a, just a certain comfort that you have playing at home. You're in your own locker room. You know, you got your own fans. You know, you're on your own court. On your own court. You know, so it's just fun to just be at home. And we got a lot of games left at home, which is good. And you mentioned the fans. And these next two games in particular are really big with Temple, then a very good Tennessee Chattanooga team. How big is it to get the Auburn fans out and really be supportive out there of these games? Yeah, we really need our fans out. I mean, because we got a tough game against Temple. And from what I've heard, okay, we have not beaten them, you know. So it would be nice to have our fans out here to see us, you know, beat Temple since they beat us the last two years. And, and then we, then on Wednesday with UT Chattanooga, I mean, they, they just beat, I believe they beat Tennessee and they, they've had some really good wins. I mean, UT Chattanooga is a really good team. So the fans are going to see some really good basketball if you come on out and watch it. Thank <laughs> you.